Hi everyone, I'm Sheila. A few of my friends have been asking me about these stripping medals that I just acquired from my friend Skip. So I thought I'd just do a little short video review for them and also do a side-by-side -side comparison with some of the stripping stones that I have and some of the other medals that I have. So this is just for anyone who may be interested. On my table here, you'd see I have a whole collection of different stripping tools that I use. I actually have a lot more than this. I'm just putting up some of my um, more frequently used ones. These are the new medals that I just got from Skip. They look like this. This is there are three in this set. So there's this big one, and then there's this middle one, and a super tiny one that you can use for detail work. And this is actually all solid stainless steel through and through. And on the ends, there's, there's two ends to it. It's got full of this grit and it's also metal. And one side is curved to fit your thumb perfectly like this. And the other side is kind of flat, but you can also use the sides, you see. So that's the nice thing and I find myself when I'm stripping a dog, I can I can do this, and then every now and then, I find myself going this way as well, depending on what you want to do. And I found that because I was trying to do a lot more control work, I was using more of the medium size, because I didn't want to pull too much, you know, since it was the first time I was experimenting using this on Raja. And I found myself using this more and then when I felt a bit more comfortable, then I started using this. It covers a lot of a wider area because of the wider surface area here. So the thing about the grit is it pulls a lot of hair. Um, it prevents a lot of slippage, which is really nice. So you actually pull a lot more effectively. And then this small one, I really like. I'm really looking forward to using this. this is, I haven't really used this yet. This is going to be really good for detailing work around the toes, around the feet, eyebrows, the edges of the ear, and around the lip. I think this is really going to be a very useful tool for that. Um, compared to the other metals, and I'll show you, I have some of these other metals. If you look, these are from Greyhound. It's also stainless steel. It's also really, really long lasting. But the grit is very thin. And, and if you can look closely enough, I've already started wearing out the grit on the sides. Can you see in the corners? That's where I tend to pull. And on this side, there's no grit. So you actually can't use the sides this way. Whereas with, with my friend Skips, you can actually even use the sides, not just the main area here. You can use the corners here as well. So, that's the other thing, and it's only one-sided, it's not double-sided, like skips. So, this is, I also used a lot for detailing. Before I got these, I, I used these for a lot of detail work because it's so small. Because it's, it's metal, you can make it really, really fine, very thin, and you can go and do those little nooks and crannies, small little corners, that's really useful. But the downside is, the grit wears off. That's that's really um, not as durable in that sense. And then, so those are the metals. And the nice thing about the stones is you can get it from various grit sizes, right? Um, depending on if you want the coarse or medium, and then you have the fines. And the downside to having these stones is when you break it. So this is what happened. I dropped, well, not me, Raja kicked the, I happened to put this on the table like that and his leg just kicked it. I dropped it on the floor and it cracked. And once it's cracked, it, you can't actually use it anymore, which is the downside. One of the real good benefits of using the stones and the metals is you can use your right hand and you can also use your left hand. So you're not inhibited or limited by whether you are left-handed person or right-handed person. 
The nice thing about the stones and these metals is you can pull in any direction, right? So depending on where the, the dog's body is, you can pull it this way. You know, you can pull it from the tail, you can pull the bottom of the tail away. But if you're using a knife, you're limited to... I'm a right-handed person, so all my knives are right-handed. You can't swap, you know. So the legs are like a circular pole up and down. And I can pull sideways using both hands. So I could use my stones. I could use my metals, but it's kind of difficult using my knives because then I can only use my right hand. The other benefit to using the stones versus the metals is the weight, obviously. The bigger the, the, the stone, of course, is going to be heavier, but even this is really light. I really love the stones because it's so lightweight, you know. You really don't have to use much energy at all. To lift and you, you reduce a lot of fatigue these metals are a little bit heavier but some people like something a little bit more substantial in weight when you have a little bit of weight it just seems I don't know some people think it's okay um, for me I like both of them um, but just bear in mind that the metals tend to be a little bit heavier than the stones um, so other than the the lightweight and whether it's heavy just think stones easy to break once you drop it metals will never break <laughs> right if you drop it it's just one piece of metal through and through even the ends so it's not gonna break so in terms of durability it's gonna last a lot longer the only downside i can think of is wearing off the grid because i just bought these from skip um the grid's still pretty fresh and brand new i just worry if over a long period of time what happens when i use it excessively and then will it start to uh, go off like this you know because when i mean even when i first bought it, these greyhound stones didn't have a lot of grit you know even this when i compare this so you can actually look, right? I'll try and bring it closer and you can see. Look at the grit. This isn't really that much. But look at that. It's, it's a lot of grit right here. So I think that actually does... Um, it's probably going to last a lot longer. And then, I don't know, maybe you can add more grit to it over time. Right now, it's very, very rough. Very rough. So it's going to help grip a lot of hair. So that's, that's the nice part. One, one other downside to using the stones is uh, over time, you can the pores on the stone actually get clogged with dirt like this and uh, dander and uh, old dead cells from the dog as you're stripping. The pores get clogged, you see. And you can wash them if you want. Um, it's not a problem. Uh, the other limitation to using the stones is you don't really use stripping powder because once you use powder on the fur as you're pulling, that's going to clog up all the pores and then you have to wash it. Whereas if you're using knives, you don't have to worry about powder because you just have to brush off the powder or the dander from the, the grooves of the teeth and then you're fine. Whereas this one, I guess it's the same thing, but it's it's practically, there's no grit anymore. In fact, I hardly ever use these stones and um, these metals anymore, just because the grit has worn off, so I don't use them. I'm finding myself pulling out my stones now and um, my new metals that I'm going to start using a lot. And I'll do a video as well showing you what, what I'm doing when I'm pulling. Roger's hair and how it works and how nice it is in a little bit. I hope you found the little review and comparison useful. Um, I really, really enjoy my stones and now I'm gonna enjoy my medals, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I hope that helped you. It's a very affordable and cheap way to 
fix your problem when the edges are too sharp you can just wrap it as much as you like and you can choose any rainbow color red wrap if you want you can use masking tape too if you like but i think the red wrap is more comfortable and it's lighter you can choose However you want to do it, just like so, it's an easy fix. Raja's laying on the table for me and I'm just going to roll this coat and demo for you um, how I'm using this. So you can actually use it either on the flat side or on the curved side. See, this side's curved, you can put your thumb in there. And you have the flat side as well. And I just, you can actually fit your finger and your thumb there pretty comfortably, just like so, like that. And you just go in and you're pulling just the longest bits as you roll the coat. And I've only done a couple of pulls, but look at how much hair has come out. There's really very minimal slippage. Slippage meaning when you're pulling the hair actually gets gripped in between your thumb and the grit it pulls pretty effectively you're not wasting your energy as you're pulling so you're actually covering co covering a wider surface area faster it saves you time that way hi huh, raja what do you think you stinky boy okay lay down lay down raja raja lay down Yes, thank you. That's a good puppy. Yeah. See? Can you see? I don't know if you're able to see it. See right there? Hmm, is that you? Huh? Is that you? Yeah? I think the metals are working really well. Even if you're just rolling a coat and you're not trying to remove everything. But see how with every pull, you're actually pulling out a substantial amount of hair. You see that? I wonder if you can actually see. This is just like a few pulls. Look at the amount of hair that's coming off. Here Raja, lay down. And I'm basically just working this area right now, working the top of his shoulder. And Raja, what you doing? So you can see what's come off. Just a few pulls. I reckon you can actually use the tiniest one, the smallest one, to do the head and around the ears around the eyebrows for a lot of detailing work and you don't want to grab too much hair you just want to grab a very little amount of hair as you pull so if you can see it's working really well and I like that you can actually work on the edges on the very tips to help pull only the tiny tiniest amounts of hair in the tiny little cracks and nooks I've been working on his shoulder now and you can tell this is the top of the shoulder where I just pulled and I'm working my way down toward his elbow and this area where I will be transitioning and leaving coat here to create that straight shoulder into the foreleg and um, so this is not not touched yet if you can tell it pulls pretty evenly the metal you don't really need to use that much strength at all so it actually saves you time because it's pulling more efficiently right now I'm really happy with it so I'm gonna continue stripping him now I think I approve. <laughs> what do you think? You like it? Yeah? 
You think Roger approves too? He says yes to the medals. I hope you enjoyed watching our little short review video. And uh, happy trimming! <laughs>